Most women don't fall in love with looks. A man who is driven and chasing his purpose becomes naturally attractive to a woman. This is regardless of what he looks like. But that does not mean you should neglect the way you look. But obsessing over it is not going to make you any more attractive to a woman. Hi friend, welcome to the channel. Let's talk about the five masculine traits that women find irresistible. Number one, dignity. A man with dignity commands respect. He's not so flashy, but he is worthy of respect. And dignity is one thing that should be preserved no matter what. Society in general is gradually losing its moral standards. People tend to glorify money over dignity. And that is the reason why you see a lot of young people, a lot of young boys, instead of chasing dignity or chasing other good morals, they just tell you that ah, money na the cocoa, when you have money, you have everything. And they just have this general notion that women want money. So they chase money regardless of how they're going to get this money. It doesn't matter if they're going to involve in fraud or whatever. They just chase money because this is what they are seeing out there. Recently, I was having a discussion with my husband and I was like, I'm so scared for the next generation of men because of what is happening right now in our society. You see people glorifying ill-gotten wealth. You see a boy of 17, 19, 20 years who even if he has worked for all his life will not be able to afford a certain kind of luxury car. And then this same boy comes around and buys 10 of these luxury cars and people are clapping, yay, you don't hammer, you don't hammer, you don't hammer from where? See, let's be realistic. We are setting standards for the generation to come to pick up. And it's so sad when we begin to think about it. Dignity is still dignity regardless. If you're a man of dignity, people will still respect you. People will know that, yes, this man has dignity. He's working for his money. He's taking care of his family. A mature and sensible woman understands that there's a difference between a man with dignity and a boy who has just stumbled on money who lacks respect for the society and for himself and will never be able to respect any woman. Because of course he believes that he has the money, just flaunts the money in their face and everything, all doors will just be opening. Dignity is still a key thing and women are still attracted to men who have dignity. Number two, good manners. Being a gentleman is different from being a simp. Even though in our society of today, a lot of people tend to paint this picture like if you're being a gentleman, you like open doors for ladies or you're working with a lady, you protect her and you stay at the outer side of the road. You're very respectful. People tend to look at you as if you're a simp. This is a very wrong notion. Having good manners will never go out of fashion. And every mature and responsible woman would recognize, respect, and be attracted to a man with good manners. Have you ever found yourself in a bus where you see a man sacrificing his seat for an elderly woman? Have you seen the joy on her face? In her mind, she's already thinking, oh, this one, her husband material, 1,000 yards. <laughs> And she's already thinking that, ah, this is the kind of man that should marry my daughter. He's very caring. Look at the way he gave me his seat. You know, things like that. It's real. Forget the fact that society is like, you know, everything good is almost as if it's disappearing. It doesn't make it right. Any man with good manners, any gentleman, someone who, you know, has very good control over his emotion is still very irresistible to women. Number three, leadership. Women are still very attracted to men who can take charge and take the lead in every situation, especially tricky situations. Because there is one thing that men are originally supposed to be. I'm sure you would have heard this like a thousand times. And I've also said this in my previous videos, but we cannot stop saying it because trust me, in as much as you've heard it so much, there are people who still do not understand the concept of leadership. A leader is what a man should be, like a holistic leader. Being able to lead, take charge in situations and, you know, just calm situations is one thing that a woman can never ignore. This does not entail you trying to impose your opinion forcefully on others or maybe trying to be in charge at all times. Leadership actually somehow, when you look at it, is an act of service because when you're trying to bring calm in a certain situation where everybody is just going haywire, that is an act of service. Number four, knowledge. Women also find men who are highly knowledgeable, very irresistible. Like, you know, a man who has a little bit of knowledge in everything. Picture a scenario where you're in a tight corner, somebody is asking you a question, or maybe you've gone for a quiz or something and you have a lifeline to maybe call a friend. The first friend that usually comes to mind is that friend of yours who is highly knowledgeable and most times is a man. And then you put a call across to him and he gives you the answer and you win that money. Imagine the joy you're going to feel. Put yourself in a position where you keep learning every day, keep expanding your knowledge, you know, broaden your horizon. Number five, the last but not the least, of course, a man with spiritual standards. One thing about women is that we respect standards. 
all right when you set some certain standard that is what we respect if you do not set any form of standard at all then what are we supposed to respect what are we supposed to follow what are we supposed to be attracted to when you don't have any standard i've seen a lot of times where some men they call them the fencers you know you just be on the fence you're neither here nor there you don't really believe in spiritual things and you don't believe in the physical things they tell you ah that man a jazz man no you be like, get yeah, this one, this one, no, they work, all this jazz, no, they work. And then you don't, it's almost as if you're just there. I call this kind of people disaster waiting to happen. Because at the end of the day, one thing will always happen. Is it that you're swayed to this part or you're swayed to the other part? And we don't know what part you're going to be swayed to. So it's always very important to have a spiritual standard because biblically, men are supposed to be priests of the household. Every man who in his household has a prayer altar. And when I say prayer altar, it's not like having like a big stage or pulpit in your house. No, having a routine times of prayer. Or maybe you're the person that wakes up at night, you know, just to communicate with God and you call your family together, you pray with them, you know, you share the word of God with them. Every man who does that, most times, naturally, his wife would have respect for him because you're extending your leadership ability even in that area, you're covering the family, being the mediator between God and the family, just protecting them generally. When you do something like this, your wife will respect you, your children will respect you, and they will never forget you. So having spiritual standard is something that most women actually cherish, even the ones that don't recognize it yet. And this alone just sets you apart and just makes you irresistible to women. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill, and if you like this video, I'm sure you're going to like this one on the screen. Click on it right now, and I'll see you there.